Oh, look at this river. We go on the bridge. Ooh, that old древний monastery. Where is that spata? Saint Kevin. Положил его. Это уже был после Патрика. Look at this. Look at this. You probably don't find playground here, don't we? Come on and go have a look. It was playing up. So we didn't really see much. Yeah, тут должна быть Saint Kevin bed. Камень. Он спал на камне. Так, лег. Это что, это his stone? Yeah, special movement. Я ну где Дан Хесте? О, как же здесь плохо. Какой же у меня блики, да? Что ж такие блики ужасные? really a very big hill at all, really. It's, um, it's just a uh, sea level, so to speak. Right, now I'm making the water. Lily, no, you stay here. Now this water is not very clear. No? Kilometers uh, by the sea from here to UK. From here to yes. Wales. Opposite, yeah, to Wales. Uh, yes. From here to Wales. Well, it's, it only takes about four hours in the ferry. Really? <laughs> you haven't been in the pool. Lily, this way. Lily! I really went to the mountain. So 
Может, там даже сумку свою оставил, боже мой, с чем она? Алили went to the mountain. Алили went to the mountain. Вот еще какие-то здесь камни исторические остались. Израсло траву. Лили! Лили! Лили, I'm here! Here! Come on! Come on then! Slowly, slowly, take your time! Каждый камушек что-то напоминает. Ой, вода, ой-ой-ой, упал девочка. Лили вон ты за маунти. Ну ладно, не ной, камон. Look, you can't see very well like this, can you? Come on. Look at this, let's go to the soul stone, look. Али или вон ты за маунти. Али или вон ты за маунти. Али или вон ты за маунти. Суси, вот чеку си. О, someone was doing the fire here, look. Mm. Fire? Mm -hmm. Fire? Mm -hmm. Fire? Oh, this one is falling stone. This was falling. Is... No, here. Как интересно, каждый этот стол, каждый этот камень заключает в себе какую-то легенду, какую-то историю. Вот тут какая-то стена была. Сколько была эта стена, не знаю. Далеко не все. Знаешь, здесь было очень древнее население. 8 тысяч лет история отходит из того, что они знают. Начало создания человека, если ссылаться на Библию. по камням. Ну, плейграунд. Ну, вот и калу, вот и что. Вот калу, да. Ну, здесь. Медведица, be careful, it's very windy. Oh, it's a spill. Baby spill. Careful. No, 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 don't do like this. It's not safe to do. It's very windy, Lily. Jump, jump on the leaf. On this side, not on the stone, no. Алили вон ту за маунтин, алили вон ту за маунтин, алили вон ту за маунтин, ту си вот чеку си. Начал чеку си, начал лили вон си. Вот и грин стоун со маунтин. Вот и грин стоун со маунтин. Вот и грин стоун со маунтин, вот и все лили вон си. Так, ладно. Вон там на лили. Come on.
<laughs> got it. Maybe we can. Так, типа еще один где где тут Мэри Касл, где тут что не знаю. I'm sure it's somewhere here, not far, but well. Not this one? No, it's not that. What about if we just stop here? We'll just yeah, go for five minutes. Yeah, there's a, a rock, a lot of uh -huh. rock.
we'll go in now, which is as far as this one. Yeah. I can't close the window. It's cold. <laughs> Not so much on the mountains, obviously, but um, on the, the in the main part of Ireland is it's all flat and very green. The small less the same as in England. Yeah, it'd be the same as England. So much different than Spain or Italy or countries like that. In Russia, that was the most beautiful woodlands. A lot of woodlands. Mm -hmm. Big forests, natural yeah. forests. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them are natural, some of them is blood. Yeah, and uh, the forest, the old forest here, uh, would be all um, oak, and, oh. uh, oak and elm trees. They have mushrooms. Mushrooms? Yeah. Yeah. Do you uh, give them and eat them? Um, yeah, them? but um, nowadays, uh, when I was young, Yes, you'd go out in the fields with a bucket and pick up all the mushrooms. Beautiful little button mushrooms and big flat ones. But what about um, in the wood, you now, know? Uh, not so much now. A lot of the mushrooms you see in the woods, in the forest, mm -hmm. are poisoned. They're not, um, and, um, they eat them and magic, magic mushrooms. You know, ah. You know, climb trees after and eat them. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> no, I mean normal mushrooms. Yeah, but, Normal mushrooms in the fields, um, yes, you can eat them, um, yes, beautiful, beautiful, but uh, not many now because when they put um, uh, artificial um, feed stuffs on the, on the field, kills the mushrooms. But not in the fields, it's in the woodland, so it is not there. We always gather mushrooms from the woodlands. Yeah, all the, most of the mushrooms here uh, that you see in the woods are what they call the magic mushrooms, you know. You'd yeah, be, you be flying up and high. Mag magic mushrooms, they have some specific mushroom. I don't know how it looks like, but not all of them are magic. <laughs> yeah, well, some of the ones here would be quite poisonous if you if you took them in the woods. Uh, so we don't uh, any any kind of uh, fungus type uh, mushrooms. We never eat at all, no. What are your mushrooms you eat? Just this uh, French uh, champignons? Correct, yeah. Uh, well, in England, when we went to the woodland, we just pick up these mushrooms, which we normally check in Russia. My husband said, I must be mad. But uh, <laughs> when I make the soup, he like it. I said, well, nice uh, soup, he said, yes. <laughs> mushroom soup, very nice. <laughs> we have to do a life and what to do, You're not no. kill them, no. No, some of them are probably, but yeah. the way it is normal. Does your husband like traveling as well? Oh no, he's very boring. Uh. <laughs> he's not like me at all. He's a nice man, very nice, but yeah. he's boring about it. He also Oh, I got the 
just one second. land down there around the lake is owned by the Guinness family uh, and it's all private you can't go down onto the lake it's about this lake coach K Posts are all done in kilometers, mm. but uh, that's only in the last uh, maybe 10 years. Mm. Uh, some places you can see them, they're, they're still miles rather than kilometers. Mm. But, uh, and, uh, which are you most used to, miles or kilometers? Kilo kilometers, yeah. Kilometers, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm lived 10 years in this country in England, so well, I get used to miles now. Yeah. I still better understand. This is Lara. Yeah, that's what's in English as well. Uh, that's Glendalough, the visitor center. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, it's in there is where I'll be parking, okay? Uh, you mean you'll park here? I'll park in there, yeah. But we're going to go by there now. And uh, that's the plan. In fact, I'll park there, Glendalough Hotel. Is that okay? Yeah. I'll park there. But I'll give you my telephone number just in case there's any kind of a... Mm -hmm. And you can ring me. Is that okay? Just in yeah. case. Is there a signal? Yeah. Uh, that's the problem as well, yeah. But it's at the back of the hotel there anyhow. Mm. Now this is the, the old gateway in now. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to come up at the back, walk up at the back of that there. And 
That down there is the hotel, right? So what you recommend me to do? You recommend me to go all the way up the stairs, yeah, and the, what, all the way yeah. around the lake? That's the way you're going to come back. I'm bringing you up to the upper lake now. Now, and it's, it's optional if you want it. You walk back yourself then. And, um... You bring me to the lake now, yeah? Correct, yeah. And then I will walk all the way from the lake to this car park, yeah? Correct, yeah. This is Glendalock Hotel, yeah? Glendalock Hotel, mm -hmm. yeah. And the round tower is back there as well. All that is all Where's back, the back the in there on the left-hand side. When I go back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See it, you see it. Just look behind, yeah? Mm. Ah, oh, right. You see, okay. there's the round tower, okay? Oh, right, okay. And now uh, the, the walk is goes is way in the, at the bottom of the hill, uh -huh. up along there, so it is. It's about 20 minutes, you said, About yeah? 20, 25 no. minutes. This here is probably will be longer. I'll probably go in and have a cup of tea and that type of thing, you uh -huh. know? A big one. Do you want to go there? Look, this is like ground for Lily. Come on and run there. Can you run? Why not?
What is beautiful like? Это древний. Но это не такой древний, как мы видели, конечно, вот эти вот тумбы. Это уже 500 какой-то год. 500 лет после Рождества Христова. Все это между гор, очень красиво. Лили! Ну что, залезла медведица. Все уснул. Так, вот тут монастырь. Камондан! Конечно. Тут ложа ужасная, так что отойдем отсюда. А мне... Ой-ой-ой, дом стопаны! Я уже махил фитша. Окей, я скуда у меня? Эй, на тебе стрел. На хаосе. Это горная речка. Что он дозвей? Я тебе не буду, не буду. Так, ну, give me a hand, бача. It's not safe to do so. Там он еще наверху остатки монастыря, но туда мы уже не пойдем, такой погода. Тут не так мало вре много времени. Come on! Yeah! Come on, where's the playground, Lily? Ooh. Looking for another playground, Miss Lily? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The water, though. Look, it's a very strong waterfall, look. Ooh. Лили! Ах, как красиво! Вот. Вон идет с самого верха, вон оттуда, да? Ууу, если еще тут идет тот ручей. Медведица! Ну ка медведица, стоя! Медведица! Стоя! На маунтин возлили, Лев? Там он внизу. We're going slow. Now we're going down the mountain, see? Ooh, lovely. Lily went to the mountain. The lily went to the mountain. The lily went to the mountain to see what she could see. But all the lily could see, that all lily could do, she was moaning all day to mountain. She was moaning all the way into mountain. She was moaning all the way to mountain. That all this lily could do. Медведица. Тебе нужно было с папой сидеть, телевизор смотреть. Измылась Look at this, it's so beautiful here, all these trees. You found a playground, yeah? Yeah. What, a little bit on a small one? Oh, look at this, how beautiful, Lily. Look at this beautiful rock. Lily, stay away from the head, from the wedge. From the wedge, stay away. Oh, 
Oh, look at what I'm from this mountain. Look, this nice mountain here. Can I stay here, please? Can you? Тут какие-то исторические, наверное, камни. Так, вон озеро. Ну, просто тут нам чуть-чуть, а? Это 20 минут. Какие тут 20 минут? С Лили тут дойдешь, наверное, не меньше часа. Пойдем, Лили, вы не тяго к выкрели. С Гетной Ноэн. Конечно, необыкновенно красивое место в долине между горами. Святой Кевин вы, э, выбрал это место для монастыря. Фух. Если бы еще этот нытик не ныл бы всю дорогу, было бы очень хорошо. Погода, конечно, ужасная. Я поеду за камеру, как бы она меня не вымокла здесь. Yes, come on then. Другое озеро. То было маленькое озеро, которым было так шумно. А это спокойное. Очень гори. Так вот люди живут тут, да? Представляю, сколько их дома стоит. Ну, no, don't, don't go in the water, Лили. И там вот велес он. Come on. Come on, go on back now. Вот тут лес. Так, вот такое дерево красивое. Вон там овечки пасутся на другом берегу. Камера у меня. Блики какие-то опять. То ли это блики от солнца, то ли это блики солнца тут нет. То ли тут попал дождь сюда. Вот еще один вот полук. О, какой такой водопад. Славный. All right, let's go for one. I can't. I'll try to find one. Oh, look at this tower. Это the башня. Традиционная ирландская башня. Тоже круглая, но... Ну, такая, как в Англии. Это что-то за блики. Это уже не надоели, да? Что тут за блики? Понимаете, здесь та вода попала. Лея, иди сюда, иди, иди. А, я сейчас сниму. Это башня. Медведица. Капризная. Сцену устраивает. Камон, вот там монастырь. Дойдем мы сегодня до него или нет? Быстро! Какая же гадина, а? Вот она мне специально так нервы трепет, а? Вот эта башня. Я не знаю, куда идти, туда или сюда. С этой фокусницей еще. Так, stay away, fall off, be careful. О, у меня еще кончается. Вот, мы пришли на эту монастик сайт. Лили, ле, леший! Что же она так фокусничает? Что же за негодяйка за такая? Квекли! Леший камен! Не дает ничего смотреть. Ну как у монастырь древний. Специально пришла посмотреть, она мне фокус нищает, все портит. Ну иди сюда! Как лель, стей. Постой, плей, 
enough, Lily. You're getting annoying. It's all you need to do. You need to listen, Mommy, and do what you're told. Yeah, but you don't, do you? You're in bad girl. Oh, she mock me. Look at this, how round this tower. Huh? Look, that's just the tower now. And feel me at the same time. It's not as easy as you think. гуляли вместо положенных 20 минут, как он сказал. Какие тут 20 минут? О, лелей, камон! Вот столбы здесь тоже подобие вот этих вот башни. Они сделали ворот в столбики, стили вот эти вот башни. Пойдем, медведица, пойдем. Ой, вы оно. О, а, а. Пик, а, а. Так, вот он подходит. Ну, еще двери в кафак. Что-то я не поняла. Вот тут же должен быть. There's a, a mountain up in the back, at the back of Ray Head. Mm. Small mountain, you know. When you're down low, it looks big. Скоро даже If you want to stop any time, just say so. Okay. Long that way, that's going up to the mountain. Yeah. It's not, it's only a hill, really. It's not here. Uh... Mm -hmm. 
Oh, is this bus This direction here and then is off uh, Dublin City. Mm -hmm. That direction. Come on then. Завтра уезжаем. Лилек. Телефон, да. Лили, ну ка спи. Эль, что ты делаешь? Давай, время спать. Завтра ты идешь домой? Ты не идешь домой? No, you already put cream on here. She's tired. She must be very tired, girly girl. No. She must be. No. I, I done her eye. Did you? Yes, I did. By my finger, Mick. Hmm. See? How did you do her eye? Uh, like this. Hmm. See? Hmm. See, Mom? Lucy, Lucy. У нас сегодня последний день. Мы взяли последнюю экскурсию. У нас есть время. Поэтому сейчас на новый курс. Сейчас поедем по Дублину. Сегодня нас разбудили, не сегодня заря. Мы решили использовать это время. Лин, что It's working. Now, I don't like to turn the volume up too high, but sometimes people tell me that they have trouble hearing the PA system. So just let me know, you know, if it isn't loud enough. I know there are only so many speakers upstairs on the bus. Also, for that reason, I'm sure it won't be a problem, but if you're having a conversation, just be conscious of the volume so everyone gets to hear. I didn't say don't talk. You're on the tour. Please enjoy yourselves. But just sometimes I say people tell me they difficulty hearing. So now I do switch the microphone off from time to time anyway, you know, that you have a chat or whatever. But I better get started with the tour. GAE Vakarda Ushana. How fun to row is the lair here for Bosana Clea. Shows the dumb where it's just an dumb. Don't panic. That was a greeting in our native language, the Irish language, sometimes called Gaelic. And I'll talk a little bit about the Irish language later on, but the commentary on the tour today will be in English. Well, sort of, anyway. Dublinese. Good morning, everyone. I'm Joe. Joe Morris, I'll be your driver and guide. You're very welcome aboard on the North Coast Castle Tour. Now, on the right is the Rotunda. Maternity Hospital, which was founded by Dr. Bartholomew Moss 250 years ago, 1757, the first public maternity hospital to open in the English speaking world. And the Rotunda Hospital is also where I first saw the light of day. And that was about uh, 21 years ago. What's wrong now, huh? Those were the days, my friend. We thought they'd never end. Ah well. Oh, it gets worse. Ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen, is the Black Church. It's a well-known landmark in Dublin, the Black Church. Dubliners call it the Black Church because of the colour of the limestone, particularly when it's raining, which in Ireland is quite a lot. Um, the official title for the church is St Mary's. Chapel of ease, and there is a superstition about the Black Church. But if you walk around there a few times, really, and look over really? your shoulder, hey, look at me. according to the superstition, you will see uh, the devil. Oh, Do you know what? Doing that isn't recommended. <laughs> well, all my life living in Dublin, I never tried it, just in case. And I'm not superstitious. I'm not really. I'm just a bit uh, ordinary stitious. Oh, no. And the standard of humor. Dublin playwright, born in this street, uh, Sean O'Casey. 
Sean O'Kane is the author of The Plough and the Stars, The Silver Tassi, Juno and the Paycock. And also born in this street, an 18th century playwright called Richard Brinsley Sheridan. Brinsley Sheridan, the author of The Rivals and The School for Scandal. A lot of writers were born in Dublin. I just mentioned a few of them relevant uh, to places that we'll be going through on the tour today. To meet someone with more information or a new angle on things, something I hadn't noticed before or whatever, it often happens. I'd be, you know. The casino was designed by Sir William Chambers and completed in 1773. It was restored some years ago by the Office of Public Works and it's open to the public. Now you get a glimpse of the casino through the trees on the left, the stone building. We get a better view just as we go left around the corner. And to visit the casino, you can take bus 27, 27B, 42 or 123. Now many places we go by today, you can get them by public transport. You might get ideas of places you'd like to return to extend a bit longer. But just ask me if we can. Well, it's 27, 27B, 42, or 123. Now, there was a book published very recently, uh, something like the 1,000 buildings around the world you must see. And that's listed as one of the... might look very impressive from here. It looks quite small. Maybe like it contains one large room. But it's designed to look smaller than it actually is. It's a kind of optical illusion. The casino actually contains 16 rooms, some of them quite big, it's three stories high. You see that if you compare it to the red brick building just to the left of it. So the windows of the top floor are hidden by the balcony near the top of the building. In behind the shrubs there facing us, there's a large window which actually gives light to two floors of the building. The urns up on the roof are chimneys. And this 18th century house had a kind of central heating system. There are pipes running through the walls of this house, and by lighting a fire in the basement, the place could be centrally heated. So that's the Marino Casino. I'm going to move on now, okay? Just past the casino, coming up on the left is the Marino Training Centre of the Dublin Fire Brigade. And coming up on the right, in behind the trees, Clontarf Golf Club and Bowling Club. Last week, Clontarf Golf Club agreed to sell the land for property development. Also coming up on the right is a school, it's Mount Temple School here on the right. Mount Temple Comprehensive. It's where the members of a rock group called U2 went to school. The members of U2 went to school in there, Mount Temple. This band U2, what could you say about U2 at this stage? Really? Well, I think uh, they're going to go a long way if they keep up the rehearsal. I know, oh, seriously, it's, it's a strange name, but it might catch on. Watch out for it. U2, it's called. Uh, U2, I suppose, still one of the biggest bands in the world. As regards album sales and box office, anyway, they have been working uh, on a new album in their studios in Dublin recently. Somebody last week told me they sure that they're more or less finishing up the album at the moment. Uh, the members of U2 went to school in there. In 1976, they formed a band in their feet back. They had their first gig at the school hall at Mount Temple. They changed the name to The Height, and then U2. And they went on to make a start of the members of U2 still live in Dublin. Bono, the lead singer, Paul Houston, he lives in Donkey now, south of the city. Edge, the guitar player, lives near Bono's house in Donkey, David Evans. Larry Mullen, the drummer, lives in Hope. And Adam Clayton, the bass player in Rat Farm. The dear me, great man, tears his mother. Then off to reap the corn, leave where I was born. Caught a stout black horse that vanished. Ghosts and goblin, a brand new pair of brogues. A rattle door, the fox and frightened all the dogs. On the rocky road to Dublin, one, two, three, four, five. Up the hair and turn her down the rocky road. And all the way to Dublin, back for Aldi Road.
I'm in shock. Can we have you back? That works usually much better with a guitar, but the steering goes funny. And so, but you're very kind. Thanks very much. Because some of my colleagues sing quite a bit. I don't sing much. I usually just do one song, maybe, because I'm very shy. What's wrong? You'd be surprised. Um, I was on a tour a while ago, and the bus was pretty full. And it was one of those days that no matter what I said or did, it was just very quiet. And that happens, you know. And in desperation, I tried singing. And when I got to the end, well, you could hear a pin drop on the bus. Complete and utter silence. I felt very special. Thank you very much. But I wouldn't encourage it if I was you. You'd only make it worse. I know it's all that going. Oh, we're going to the castle. Yeah. Great. Now, there's going to be a tour in Malachite Castle. A lot of information on the tour of the castle, but at this stage I'm just going to explain some background information about the place to put it in a historical context. Now, Malahide Castle is the home of a family called the Talbots. Talbot. Originally a Norman family. The Normans started to arrive in Ireland in the 12th century. And the Talbots were at Malahide for about 800 years. And the family was temporarily dispossessed of Malahide Castle just after Oliver Cromwell came to Ireland in 1649. But apart from that, the Talbots were at Malahide about 800 years. In the 1170s, Prince John, uh, Prince John, as you may know, was the son of King Henry II, the Norman King, Henri Plantagenet. Prince John granted lands in North Dublin to a knight, Richard Talbot. And the Talbots were at Malahide from then, more or less, until 1975. And in 1975, the last member of this Dublin branch of the family, the Honourable Rose Talbot, sold Malahide Castle. And then she emigrated. She went to live in Australia. She went, in fact, to live in Tasmania. And having lived all those years here in Malahide in Dublin, she went to live in Tasmania, and she lives there now in a place called um, Malahide. <coughs> Just for a change, I suppose. <laughs> ah, years trying that. Thanks very much. Malahide in Tasmania, the name came from this Malahide in Dublin. In the 1800s, a member of the family called William Talbot went to live in Tasmania, and he called his property Malahide. And Rose Talbot visited her relatives there quite a bit over the years, and her brother Lord Milo did as well. Now in 1973, Lord Milo Talbot de Malahide passed away. He was the last, if you like, of the Dublin Lords Talbot, and Lord Milo had no children. So he left the castle to his sister, the Honourable Rose Talbot. Well. Rose Talbot has no children either. And she's the last member of this Dublin branch of the family. So at the time, she decided to sell the castle. But there was at the time another big reason for her decision to sell the place. She could not afford to pay the inheritance tax. I don't really know what would have happened if she had the money. She may have stayed here. She is the last member of the branch of the family, the Dublin branch, she may decide to go to Australia and anyway, who knows, but one way or another, she sold the castle. Now at the time the castle was bought by the local county council, or local authority, so it's more or less in public ownership now, and set in 250 acres of parkland. And the upkeep of the castle, and the running of the tour, are looked after by Dublin tourism. And of course we get to visit the place. Now, Rose Talbot used to come back to Dublin about once a year to visit the castle, but she has not been back for a few years. I think her last visit was in the year 2000. She had her lunch at the castle. Uh, Rose Talbot is now in her 90s. She was born in 1915. Now, they tell us at the castle that she's in good health, but it's a long journey to Tasmania. Now, as you go around the castle on the tour today, your guide will no doubt point out to you a painting, a family portrait on the stairs of the castle. 
And in that painting you'll see Rose Talbot. Rose Talbot <coughs> as a child. And you see her brother Lord Milo with that painting as well. But that is just some background information. There will be a lot more as we go around uh, as you go around on the tour today. Let's go back a bit now, with the early 1990s, there's a film called The Commitment. It's a very funny film, the story of a Dublin soul band based on a novel by Roddy Doyle. A lot of the film, The Commitments, was made in their darn jail. You might have seen The Commitments, but I don't think I'll try to sing it, most thanks, have you? Or try a little tenderness. Oh, stop on your head, this is a band. We have to hire a brass section for the tour or something. Anyway, that's darn day. Now, go to the airport. The short is to go to the airport. Yeah, we'll go here today. And after the next set of traffic lights, there's a bit of a change in the landscape. It will start to become much more rural as we drive towards Malahide. North County Dublin traditionally is farmland. Uh, not a lot of livestock in Ireland, but certainly tillage, horticulture, market gardening. And as we drive along, we will see crops in the fields, gardens and greenhouses on the way to Malahide Castle. Yes. And to the best of my knowledge, St. Dulox is the oldest Church of Ireland church still in you. Now the oldest part of the church is the stone roofed chancel, that's the part closest to the roadway. It dates from the 12th century. The square tower was added on in the 15th century. At the back of the building, there's an extension added on in the 19th century. So that's St. Tulloch Church. As far as I'm aware, oldest Church of Ireland Church. Anglican Communion. Now we're almost to the castle. I'm going to move on, okay? Any valuables on the bus. I'm not trying to be obvious now. In all the years doing tours, I never had any kept from a bus tour. But I hate it to happen to you. This is a public car. I close the bus up during the race. However, I won't be staying with the bus. Uh, and so I couldn't guarantee the security event to get leave on the bus. It'd be, a, it'd be in a bus park. It's a public park. Now, uh, well, a few more things uh, about our visit to the castle. Um, your guide today will mention at the start of the tour that they don't, don't allow photography while you're on the tour of the castle of any sort. Um, now, there's no problem, my understanding anyway, you take pictures downstairs in the castle, out in the grounds of the exterior of the building, but not on the guided tour. But the reason they give us is the paintings. Many of the paintings in the castle are from the collection of the National Gallery of Ireland. So I suppose the condition of the loan, the same restrictions they have in the National Gallery of Ireland, they don't allow photography. Just people ask me why that's the reason they, they give us. Like, like yourselves, uh, we're visitors to the castle. We don't uh, really know what they, where they run things here. Now the uh, commentary in the castle is in English, but they've made available to us some written translations of the commentary. Now at the moment I'm afraid it's only in a few languages, but if it's any help, at the present time they have written translations. It is a very big castle, and it isn't really. I've been in larger castles, but some castles you visit are a bit bare on the inside. This one is furnished. You can imagine people living here, and they did just over 30 years ago. Нет, ты что? 
какого-то года, 12 тенек. Башня круглая сохранилась. Oh, nice Come get him, get him, get his Peacock, come on, go and get him. Перышка, достань перышка. Come on, go after him. Come on, don't be scared. He won't harm you. The Glebek's scared of peacock. Come on, go and get him. Come on, peacock. Там же гадос, вот это вот есть. Вот такой раунд из кассы. Ты новый заубатый? Вы не ты? А, гон в руде кассу, но ты сведен, не? А, окей, спасибо. Я не думаю, что это сэнни. Come on, let's go to see what is on there. I'm going to slide down. Museum of childhood, all closed here. Unfortunately. Doll's house. Oh, Lily, don't step on there. Oh, there's no. All closed. What a shame. Mm hmm. Там внутри замка не разрешали снимать, там такие хоромы. Кому лили, лили, кого будет ли дали? I think it's nice sometimes just have a, a conversation and just look around a bit. No, Lily. I certainly talk about a lot of things along the coast, but I leave the microphone off from time to time as well. You want to form your own opinions about things or whatever, just look around. I'll talk to you in a few minutes just to get a bit closer to the coast. Thank you. Look at this old tree.
Now there was a rebellion in Ireland in 1798 and there was French involvement in that rebellion. So the Martello Towers were built here in 1804. Now as things worked out, the Martello Towers in Ireland never really saw any action. And after the Battle of Waterloo, the garrisons were taken out of the towers here. And many of the towers are now converted into houses. We'll see a few more of them as we go along. But now about three miles offshore to the left, Land Bay Island. What? Land Bay Island is inhabited. Mm. There's a castle over there that belongs to yes. the Rebel Stoke. The, I believe the, the Rebel Stoke owned Land Bay Island. And the castle is a fine example of medieval architecture. But to visit Land Bay Island and need permission from the Rebel Stoke. Uh, about Oh, it was on Land Bay Island that the Vikings first landed on the coast, including Dublin, Harklow, Wicklow, Wexford, Waterford, Cork, Limerick. And the Viking ruled Ireland was mainly in coastal areas, it didn't go very far inland. Well, I'll explain a bit more about that. Very medieval history as you go around. But they were approaching Port Marmot. And in the distance ahead is Hoke Head, it's a Hoke Peninsula. We're going to go around that headland and back to the city by Dublin Bay. And the island off the coast of Hoke is Ireland Tide. And Port Marnock is a very popular seaside village. Another Martello Tower here. Also ahead is a beach called the Velvet Strand. Port Marnock Strand, also called the Velvet Strand. In the early days of aviation, this beach was used as a runway for a couple of pioneering flights. From this beach, Australian aviator Sir Charles Kingsford Smith flew to Newfoundland, the famous plane, the Southern Cross, on the 24th of June in 1930. Also from this beach, aviator James Mollison made the first solo east to west flight across the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> On the 18th of August 1932, by the way, there's a picture of these planes of the railing to the left, Southern Cross, the Hartford 10th. 18th of August 1932, Mollison flew from Port Marnock Strand to Penfield Ridge, New Brunswick, Canada, a flying time of 31 hours and 20 minutes. That's a long hour haul, isn't it? In a light aircraft. James Mollison was married to Amy Johnson, the famous aviator. We go by a few golf courses on this tour. It's coming up on the left, Port Marnock Hotel and Golf Links. The golf course here was designed by Chairman Calipher, former European Ryder Cup captain uh, Bernard Langer. Chairman Calipher designed this golf course for Bernard Langer and Calipher. Oh, that's Coming up on the left is a thatched cottage. It's a private house. I'll just slow down and all stuff. It's got a straw roof. Typical of houses here in the 18th and 19th centuries with a thatched cottage. Oh, it's replaced the other section roof. They did the other bit recently. Uh, thatching is done here with reeds or with straw, oats and straw. And for thatching, the oats have to be grown and harvested using traditional methods because with modern harvesting methods, the straw is too short to use for thatching. See where people have these old cottages. Be careful. In many cases, now they've replaced the roof with tile or slate. It certainly lasts longer. With the wet weather here, a thatched roof has to be renewed about every 10 to 12 years. Expensive. Nice to see that some people go to trouble to maintain the thatched cottages in that traditional style. Oh.
uh, Port Barnett Hotel at Golf Links. Over to the left is another golf course. That one is Port Marnock Golf Club. The club house, the building of the Red Roof. Port Marnock is a championship golf course and many times it has been the venue for the Irish Open golf tournament. In recent years, uh, the Irish Open was moved to other courses. Port Marnock is still one of the best golf courses in Ireland. It's a private golf club. We go by a few more golf courses before we get back to the city. Now we want to Baldoyle village. This is Baldoyle Village. And over to the left, another view of the island of Ireland Valley. Just off the coast of Hope. From this angle, we see the Marshallow Tower. Ireland's eye is uninhabited. <laughs> Ahead and to the left, then. Another golf course. That one is some golf course. Something is a nine hole course. We go over the Dart railway line now at Sutton Station. Dart, Dublin Area Rapid Transit, the Dublin Suburban Line. Going north of the city on the Dart train, there are two branch lines, there's one to Malahide and one to Hope. Hope is an next stop north of Sutton on the Dart. The Dart trains go through the city, then they go along the south coast to Dublin and into the northern part of County Wicklow towns of Bray and Greystone. The first railway built from the city to Hove opened in the 1860s. The Dart opened as an electric railway in 1984. And this crossroads is Sutton Cross and Sutton Village. We're going to make a loop of the headland at Hove. We go to Hove Harbour. And then we go up to Hope Summit, back down to Sutton, back to the city. H-O-W-T-H, and that's pronounced Hope. Oh. Not house, now Hope. 
Hold. And the reason it is pronounced Hold is the name came from the old Scandinavian or old Norse word Hobbit. Hobbit meant a headland. There was a Viking township in this area. The Vikings remained in power at Hold until the year 1180. And in 1180, the Vikings at Hold were defeated by Normans at the Battle of the Bloody Stream. The so-called Bloody Stream now flows under the roadway near Hold Castle. 1180 Normans defeated Vikings. But there were descendants, descendants of Vikings, who settled in what is now Normandy in France. When Rolf the Viking became a Rollo the Norman too, Vikings in France became Normans. But when the Normans eventually came to Ireland, they fought against their cousins, the Vikings. Now history is a big interest of mine, but I think I mentioned earlier, there's only so much time on a tour. This tour I focus a bit on medieval history, Normans and Vikings. 1180 Vikings were defeated by Normans, and there was a castle built at Hogue around that time. You can just see a little bit of Hogue Castle through the trees there ahead and to the right. It was originally 12th century Hogue Castle. The present building, the oldest part of it, is 17th century, 1654. Now beside the castle is um, another golf course called Deer Park. In the grounds of Hogue Castle is a megalithic tomb. A giant portal dolmen called Aegin's Grave, between three and a half and four thousand years old. The gardens that hold the number rhododendrons of bloom in May and June. And also in the uh, castle grounds, a National Transport Museum, which features a collection of veteran vehicles, buses, fire engines, commercial and military transport, and horse drawn vehicles. I believe the road like this, there will be a few tour buses come into the Transport Museum as well. Uh, They've been putting pipes down here over the past few months. I hope they come back and resurface the rubble. It's shocking, really. This is my only part of the tour now. Now, to visit Hove, you can take the dark train. Uh, that's the station down the left, just over 20 minutes from the city on the dark. Or if you can stand going over that road again, you can take the bus from the city to Hove. And the bus from the city is the 31 or 31B, not that one ahead now, it's the 31B, the 31 or 31B to hold of the dark train. And if you're in uh, Dublin for a few days or longer, hold is a place which would be worth a visit at your leisure. There is the weather permitting, of course, but there's the transport, not just the, the old castle there uh, to visit. And also, hold is a fishing port see some of the trawlers here on the left. I'll just pull in for a few moments. Just off the coast at Hope, then to the left again, the island of Ireland's Eye. And here in Hope there are a number of seafood restaurants. For example, Aqua at the end of the pier to the left for seafood. Also here the Abbey Tavern, the King Citric, the Fisherman's Wharf, the Bloody Stream. On the hill ahead, another Marcello tower. Also ahead is a round church. The church is St. Mary's Abbey at home. The bell tower ahead in the 15th century. And the rest of the church dates in the 14th century. St. Mary's Abbey. St. Mary's Abbey was built on the site of an older church. It was originally a wooden church on that site. It was founded there in the year 1042 by a Viking ruler of Dublin, King Citric. He was known as King Citric Silken Beard. I wonder what he looked like. Citric Silken Beard, founded the wooden church 1042. The one on the hill now. 14th century, 15th century bell tower. Citric also founded Christ Church in Dublin. Now the cathedral of the city today is a Norman Gothic building. But the original Christ Church on that site was a wooden church founded there by Citric in 1038. I'm starting to confuse myself now. We'll go up the hill by St. Mary's Abbey and up to Holt Summit. Oh, yeah. 
Again to the right, the Abbey Tavern. The Abbey Tavern is a 16th century pub. There's a shop. Not, not by the word, but thanks for asking. Very nice. Well, it's a very popular place, the Abbey Tavern, because it's a nice old pub. But also they do seafood in there. And they have Irish music in the evenings. Really popular place for music, the Abbey Tavern. If you're going there, it's best really to phone in advance and to book a table. We're going now by Hope Village and up to Hope Summer. We now travel along the road of what was the old Hoth tramway. Mm. A Hoth tramway linked uh, Sutton and Hoth railway stations via Hoth Summit. The Hoth tramway was closed in 1959. this headland or peninsula, the hill of Hoth. We've gone around one side of the headland to Hoth Harbour. We're driving now back towards Sutton. So looking right there, uh, the Irish Sea, looking north. I'm going to watch the road if you don't mind. Shortly ahead we'll see Dublin Bay. Sunglasses. Dublin Bay coming into view ahead of us. Uh, Look, Coast Line of Dublin. We're looking towards Tonleary at the moment. The background ahead is some of the Dublin Mountains. That's what they're called, the Dublin Mountains. They're kind of hills, right? We'll see more of Dublin Bay in a few moments. Okay. Now this headland is made up of an orange coloured rock, a mix of quartzite mm -hmm. and slate. Huh? We'll see some of it here on the right in a few moments. Dubliners all the Hoth stone. The rest of Dublin and Wicklow mostly granite. We hear this far size and slate, or Hoth stone. Now ahead of us, two chimneys. Just as ahead, they're part of the power station, the electricity supply of our generating station. At Ring's End, it's filled by natural gas. They burn oil sometimes there, but usually natural gas. Dublin Bay goes as far as the island over to the left of Martello Tower, Dock, the island. Sorrento Point is to the right of that. That's the end of Dublin Bay. Beyond that Kalindy Bay, Greystones, Wicklow Harbours. Some of the Wicklow Mountains, there's a cone shaped one over there, the Sugar Low. Now, Lily, look, you said you want to. Lily, Lily. Come on, 
Then look at me. Look. Okay. You don't want to look up to you. Tell me. But don't put your finger in your nose. It's not very nice. Yes, I can. It's disgusting. Uh -huh. It's disgusting. It's disgusting, girl. Well, I mentioned that this, this place is called Hove. Hove meant a headland in the old Scandinavian or Old Norse language. But there is another name, it's Benadir. Benadir is a Irish language name. Benadir is that hill just up there to the right. And that hill is also called Shield Marathon. Three names. So see the two names on road signs here, Hove and Benadir. The name Benadir also features in Irish legends. Irish mythology, particularly the stories of Finn McCool. According to legend, uh, Finn McCool is a giant who lived in the 3rd century AD. According to legend, a lot of Finn McCool's battles took place here at Finn Ager. These Irish legends, Irish mythology, you would find collections of these stories in bookshops in the city. Stories of Finn McCool. Stories of the warrior, Cook Cullen, yeah, and many more. These ancient stories were collected and revived just over a hundred years ago by writers and poets. Some of these people translated the stories into English and it became a movement in literature here, the Celtic Twilight and the Gaelic Literary Revival. W. B. Yeats, poet, playwright, probably the best known writer about the Celtic Twilight. A lot of ancient history around this folklore of mythology. Other golf course on the right, Hope Golf Club. As we go down the hill, looking ahead, you see Hope is attached to the rest of Dublin by a narrow strip of land. There's the Irish Sea to the right, Dublin Bay to the left. It stands out down at high tide, I suppose. We'll see it there ahead. Um, that bit of land between here and Sutton is reclaimed land. It's reclaimed from the sea. So at one time, Hoth was an island. At high tide, anyway, it was cut off from the rest of Dublin. So you're down now almost to sea level, along this reclaimed beach, and back to Sutton. Shortly, we'll take the road back to the city, then by Dublin Bay. Next to white. What about this one? What color is that? White. White and what? 
Look at all this stuff. It's yellow. It's cute. It's nice to take a house. Yeah? Yeah, so the cold house. Give me some ideas, come on. I like pretty house. Mm-hmm. I like pretty things. Dishing the children alone, then you know, better than you know. So the cold side of the left here, you know, looks a lot better. High height. When the wall was all this, the wall here. Well, we have a very strange timetable for these tours. So we went by tide. And to be fair, there has been a lot of work in recent years and cleaning up. Dublin Bay, and much of what you see on the left today is just uh, mud flats. Well, that area to the left is almost uh, completely enclosed by the Bull Island. It's a grassy sandbank just over there to the left. Um, it's the Bull Island or North Bull Island. It will be to the left for much of the way back to the city, certainly as far as South Montar. Now, the Bull Island really came into existence in the 19th century after the construction of the port of Dublin, uh, breakwater walls. When we were up on the hill at home, I pointed out the breakwaters are the mouth of the River Liffey, the north and south uh, bull walls. They were built in the early 1800s, completed in the 1830s. It was designed to stop the sandbanks, building up around the mouth of the River Liffey. Liffey flows into Dublin Bay. Uh, Dublin Bay is quite shallow, and there's a strong current that goes around the bay. Over the centuries this made a sandbank built up in a number of places. In the late 1700s, ships on the ground on sandbanks near the mouth of the river. So to solve the problem, breakwaters were built. Well, to redirect the current. Now, after the North Bull Wall breakwater was completed, this island or sandbank was formed over time by the clockwise motion of the current in Dublin Bay, which carried sand and silt from the mouth of the River Liffey, not to the northern side of the channel. I suppose looking at it today gives some idea of the scale of that silting up problem. At the present time, the Bull Island is about three miles long, about five kilometers. It has quadrupled in size over the last hundred years, and it is still growing towards the coast. And so, well, they managed Oh, the Dublin area we get hardly any snow. We had a tiny bit of snow this year. The last big snowfall in Dublin was in 1982. And we get frost here, but not very severe frost. So we find that birds come here in the winter from colder northern countries, northern regions. Coming here in large numbers to the Bull Island. 1931, the Bull Island was officially declared a nature reserve. First official nature reserve in Ireland. 1981, the Bull Island was declared a UNESCO World Biosphere Reserve. I don't know how the birds know that, but the UNESCO World Biosphere Reserve. The overwintering place, for example, for about 3,000 French geese that fly to Ireland every winter from Arctic Canada. Other birds you find here at different times during the year, the various gulls, gannets, herons, cormorants, also curlers, oyster catchers, teal, sheldon, Flat wing and many more. The Bull Island is also a habitat for foxes and for hares. The Bull Island. Now there's a public park on the right, at St Anne's Park in Rahini. This park is maintained by Dublin City Council. Now 
uh, the other side of the whole island is a beach, Dolly Mount, Strand. I'm going now into Clontarf. Clontarf at Dolly Mount feature an Irish writer, James Joyce's novel, a portrait of the artist as a young man. James Joyce, author of Ulysses, Dubliners, Finnegan's Wake, was born in Dublin of Lascar. 1882. Oh, yeah. Growing up in Dublin, he lived at at least 17 addresses. The family moved house a lot. One of these places was in Clontarf, a short while in Adelaide. A part of his book, a portrait of the artist, as young man is not around here. But Joyce spent much of his adult life in the concept of your Paris, Trieste, or Rome. What do you think? He certainly wrote a lot about it. We're in Clontarf, the Battle of Clontarf was one of the key events in medieval history in Ireland. Perhaps the event that broke the power of the Vikings here. Like a lot of historical events, a bit complicated, I'll try and explain. Um, you see, the Battle of Clontarf to begin with was a kind of territorial dispute between two Irish kings, Brian Baru and Wael Mordach. Now, Brian Baru at the time was High King of Ireland. But he didn't rule all of Ireland. He didn't rule this province, Leinster. Leinster was ruled by another Irish king, Wael Barda. So Brian Baru fought Wael Barda for control of Leinster. And Cedric the Viking was king of Dublin. He wanted to guard his power in the city. Vikings from other parts of Ireland fought at the Battle of Clontarf. The battle lasted just one day, 23rd of April in 1014. Brian Baru won the battle. That's to say. His army defeated the Allies in Anstra and Norris Army. Arrived on that evening, having, if you like, won the battle, mm. Brian Baru himself was killed by a retreating okay, Viking called Brodar. But Cedric survived the battle and went on to found those churches I mentioned earlier. But Vikings had suffered heavy losses in the Battle of Clontarf. And you find that after that battle, the Viking rule was confined mainly to coastal towns they found them to go very far inland. Nearly one o'clock now. I'm still talking about the 12th or the 11th okay, century. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think I'm going to get all the history of Ireland in before the end of the tour. I want to hurry up. Um, I mentioned earlier on the Bulls tour, only so much time. I focused it in on medieval history of this tour. If you've got any questions at the end, ask me. The history as well, I can recommend books or libraries. Now, this is the last. Сейчас у меня идет повторение предыдущего дня и вот этого дня, который мы снимали, когда ехали к замку. Это я снимала на другой камере, дублировала. Поэтому здесь будет то, что вы уже, в принципе, видели. Сейчас вот первая съемка, я еду на машине вот с этим вот водителем, который возил меня вот к тому древнему монастырю, э, который в горах. Мы едем обратно. Mm. It's just a visual for visual impact, mm. but uh, there was a, there used to be a, where that th the spire is, where the in the middle of a corner street, and mm. there was a, you could go up it, and there was um, uh, not Napoleon, um, who was it? Some some British um, uh, admiral Nelson Nelson. Ah, Nelson. Yeah, yeah Nelson. Oh. That was Nelson's pillar was there. Oh, it was very nice. high. It was up very 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 high, up higher than any of the buildings. But um, 30 years ago, when the troubles were hit in Northern Ireland, uh, the IRA blew up the, the Nelson's monument. Mm. And they blew up a lot of monuments that, that was uh, honouring different English people. Mm. So, uh, so the, instead of having the monument there, then they put the, the cross to the right. Um, it's the, the embassies, a lot of the embassies. Again, the Muslim and Jewish? Or any, any embassy? Yes. Where's the Russian embassy? Uh, sorry? Where's the Russian embassy? The, the Russian embassy, uh, it's somewhere around this area. I'm not certain where, mm. but it's it's um, it's somewhere around. Mm. I think it's over more in um, uh, 
Dominic Square is, is over to the right here. Что у нас называется вот эти вот, где всякие бомжи живут, тоже у них, у них такой же район. Ну, Лили, кондует. Not too far, not too far from Collins Street here now. 
Because we've been... Uh, no, I don't think we've been here, but we've been somewhere mm -hmm. very similar. It was shopping center. Yeah. There was a boots, uh, Tesco, everything on one. Dance towers on that type of thing, yeah? Mm. There was dancing snowman, nearly was oh. looking. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of them. I like them, snowman. You like them? Yes. Mm, I see. No, we need them. I still like them. It's even better here when it is dark. All this decoration on. Yes. On Christmas tree, really, yeah. look. Yeah. Oh, look. Ah, this one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to be parked here. Uh, I'm not supposed to park here. Oh. All right. I'm going to. I'm going to see what the story is. But I'll wait in the car for you. Uh, where? Here? Here, yeah. You said you're not supposed to be uh, no, I'll, 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 if by any chance. Так, вот она тут касса. Yes, Dublin Castle. Сейчас, I'll just to see. Святой Патрик. Все о нем. Стоят Coach House. Gardens. Чисто пьетело. О, лук, здесь House. Ah, this pink house, this is Chocos house. My, uh, look, this lilac one in front of you, look, the castle. Now I do. Mm -hmm. I'm king. Yeah. I'm king. Mm -hmm. I'm king. Yeah. Yellow. I'm blue. Yellow and blue. I'm pink. But there's another one here. There's another castle. Come on, let's go this way, Lily. Come on. Come on. Lily. Come on, we're we'll going to this house now. That's greenhouse here. Think about yeah. Come on, come out. Mm -hmm. You're hungry. Mm? Look at this, it's nice. You get castle, gift shop, it's a restaurant.
Олочка. О, look at this nice Ну, какой nice look, Леля. The Book of Kells. And that's a book that the monks. And it's all done in gold and all that with fantastic designs and all that type of thing. You know? And you've probably heard of the Book of Kells. Also, there's the Ardo Chalice. And that was a chalice made of gold and silver that size. And it was found only about 15 years ago with a metal detector in a bog and underneath rocks and it's priceless it's probably about 1400 year old this chalice it's it's a big it's like a big wine goblet that size and that's in display in there as well now the museums are all up here behind us this is still all bank of ireland and sorry central bank and building there now we're coming straight on here, is uh, straight on into uh, O'Connell Street. Mm -hmm. Oh, not on his bicycle. We'll probably all have a few hours before the plane tomorrow. Right. I just think what time are you flying out tomorrow? Uh, four o'clock. Oh, you have plenty of time. You come yeah. in here in the morning time. Tomorrow's what, thing. Monday, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You get a bus down here onto O'Connell Street, mm -hmm. and just up straight up here then is Trinity College, and uh, Central and there's museums up there as well. But Trinity College is going to take you all day in Trinity College, honey. Uh, you know what I mean, five, six hours, whatever. Mm -hmm. There's your spire there now again. Mm-hmm. And this is the river here I was telling you about, the River Liffey. Mm -hmm. And um, it goes into Dublin Bay, mm -hmm. and uh, north Dublin mm -hmm. that side, south mm -hmm. Dublin this side. Right. Hello, Auntie. Hello. What you call west and west. east Dublin? Mm, nah, the, in Dublin is only just north and south. Mm. North of Liffey and south of the, uh, uh, the Liffey. Mm -hmm. West Dublin will be really probably up. Towards where we went up towards the mountains, mm -hmm. but it's not really defined. She's even fat at night, but today we're too tired now. Drop us now. Well, we need to get changed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And she wants swimming. Go on, <laughs> swimming. Very important. Seven o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, this is the, the main thoroughfare in Dublin, the, the main street, the capital street. Oh, cool. the street, uh, The main street in the capital of Dublin. Mm -hmm. uh, famous stores over here on the right-hand side is Cleary's. Uh, it, again, that is there in the same family for the last hundred years. Uh, mm -hmm. Here on the left-hand side with the pillars, that's the general post office. That's where the, the rising for Irish independence started mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. and was thousands of people got killed here in 1916 mm -hmm. uh, when the Easter Rising and that's where the, was the headquarters was that building in there and it goes way way back mm -hmm. and that was all put on fire by the British ships came up the Liffey and uh, they gunned it from, mm -hmm. uh, from the Liffey they, they bombarded it and uh, blew it to bits Ah, this one is the Nelson Monument, yeah? Yes. I, saw, I thought it was uh, something to do with uh, television tower. No, no, <laughs> no. This is just a um, uh, central focal point. Mm. This is still all O'Connell Street here. And uh, you have major stores both sides. All the shopping areas down there. Mm -hmm. um, very good shopping areas, centres and all that sort of thing. I think we've been there. We've been on this side. We've been to this McDonald's and this yeah. is there. <laughs> the, the Lilac Center. Mm. Now some of these streets have been changed lately. Uh, some of them you can you can't go up now. More than you can, mm. and there, there, a lot of them have been changed in the last um, in the last couple of months. Right. 
on my cat. Away. Look, stay here, Lily. Lily, stay, Mama. Lily! Lily, come here, Lily! Yeah, well, so No, I would like to see the castle. Well, okay. Well, all she's doing is just uh, like in here, yeah? I'm gonna stay here uh, and uh, conserve these yes, well. but Lily, come here! One more. Yeah. If she hurries up, yeah. Okay, what well, you smile, I'll get one of you. One, two, three, smile. I think I got it. No problem. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, I think I got it. I want me to do you too. No, it's okay. We got you. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Lily. Oh, it's a cast. Last day. Oh, Lily, look at this. That's beautiful. Lily, look flowers. Castle. Oh no. Я думаю, мы А вот и сегодня история насчет этого касла. Это же мы приехали, когда норманы сюда пришли, в тысяче каком-то там году. Значит, эта земля была подарена некому по фамилии Талбот. Значит, и вот у них было тут из поколения в поколение. Они передавали этот дом. И последняя семья нормальная здесь была в 19 веке. Да, муж и жена, у них было двое детей, дочь и сын. И оба оказались непутевые. Самый сын никогда не женился, и дочь не выходила замуж. И дочь ее звали Роза, Роуз. Она в 75 году продала этот замок ирландским властям. А сама ушла на пенсию. Да. передачи из каких-то двух непутевых людей, которые не поженили жениться и замуж ходить. Вот так все получилось. И никому не досталось. Не знаю, насчет фамилии Тал, по-моему, фамилия Тал вот не сохранилась у них, потому что там еще передавалось дочерям что-то по наследству, но все равно. Потом никаких уже не ни родственников, ничего. Лиля, отойди, 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 отойди. Lily, don't stay here. You understand or not? You will be, your feet will be all wet. That's not Willis. That's not Willis, Lily. You be a naughty girl. Come on then. No, it is not Willis. It will be wet right inside. Так, а сейчас мы кажется поедем к морю, если я правильно поняла. Да, вот этот замок мне нравится, очень красивый замок. Все вот эти вот замки тут в Дублине какая-то ерунда. Здесь очень ничего. Лили! Come on, Лили! Лили! Come on, darling! Так, ну вот это ноут скост. Пойдем к морю подойдем, что ли? Very wet, Lil. Yeah, but never mind. Come on, let's go to close to the water. But Lil, I don't want you to be wet, okay? So don't step on the wet side. Come here. Don't step on the wet side. Lily, 
You probably can find the shell here. You may find the shell here. What nice autobus. Come on. Let's go close to the sea. Lil. Shell. Oh, I can see more shells here. Come on. Come on, let's go close to the water. Bori, Bori asked me to do the water. I don't think it's particularly clean wood here. But we'll try. Come on. You found this shell. Lovely. Come on then. Lily, I found more shells here, Lily. Look how many. Lily, a lot of shells here, look. Yeah, look how many. Big one. Look, you know what? Yeah. fun for daddy, yeah? Okay. Like, I just want to go to this water so far. It's just a little tight today. Lily, big one, Lily. Lily, big hair shell. Yes? Yes, big one here, look. Here. Lily, here. Lily, no here, here. Yes, big one, see? Так, вон этот остров, на котором замок. Замка я там никакого не вижу. Говорит, он необитаемый. Так, вот я иду к воде. Так, вот вода. Ой, сейчас мне там воду а волнует. Это мне не надо. У меня резиновый сапог на мне нету. Эй. А вода здесь, ну, не знаю, может попрозрачнее, чем у нас. Здесь трудно понять, здесь мелко. Вообще-то прозрачный, вон тут видно. Просто похож на пляж Голстани. Ладно, там мне очень хорошо, что это не пошла. О, бежит моя красавица. На с носками, ногами. A lily went to see, 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 what see, lily likes to see. Lily, look at me. That's better. Oh, look at this fun, funny shell, look. Lily, look at this, look at the shape of this, look. Long one, I never see so long shell. Look, oof, how big, look. Long one. Won't take, oh, it's very broken, uh, broken already. But what is a funny shell? Ooh, very funny. Look, Lil, stay, darling. Look at me, Lil. Lil, look at me, Lil. Whoop, Lily, look at me. Lily. That's better. Oh, yo, yo. Oh, Lily, 
We're going now. Look, we're going on the bus, Lily. Everyone going back to the bus. But we'll be late otherwise. Come on. He's waiting for us. Yeah, we're going home very soon, baby. Very soon. Not yet. Go back to the bus. We'll go around. Lily, come on. Конечно, есть большие преимущества в том, что рано вставать. Можно все успеть. Ой, другая! Посмотри, какая лука ты щел! This shape! It's even bigger, Lily, look! Yeah. What is a funny shell? Like a fingers. Ooh, like a little fingers. Вот это nice one, they can take us. Вот это они вот. Это мама и это little daughter. Yeah. All right, let's go then. Yeah. You watch them, didn't you? No, you can't watch them. You can't go to the water. It's too far. Slow tide. The sea's supposed to be here, up here. If it was if we come later, we probably don't need to walk all the distance. We'll stay near the sea anyway. Bram Stoker, best known as the author of the novel Dracula. Mm. Marina Kulic. Comes as a bit of surprise to a lot of people, not that Bram Stoker wrote Dracula, but that he was a Dubliner. The novel Dracula is set between what? Transylvania, mm. London, and Whitby in Yorkshire in England. As far as I know, Bram Stoker never visited Transylvania, though his brother Richard did. Bram went on holiday to Whitby as a child, and he knew London quite well, lived there for a lot of his adult life. He managed a theatre in London called the Lyceum, and he managed a Shakespearean actor, Henry Irving. Stoker took to writing Gothic stories such as The Lair or The White Worm, the novel Dracula. Then we go over the, uh, the river Talca, a tributary of the Liffey. Thank you, I will, I won't. Uh, okay, we have a ghost tour, Dublin bus. It's in our brochure. Very popular tour. It was booked out for yesterday evening. I don't know what it's like for this evening. It's really popular this time of year. The light is just about right, you know. Been running for years, the ghost tour. Very popular. I never went on it myself, though. I'm too scared. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, no. <laughs> no. I just haven't got round to it. I keep meaning to go on the ghost tour and I forget all about it. Mm -hmm. If I drive along here and then it all comes back to me. When I get back to town I forget all about it again. Right. I sent myself a text message. That was reminding me. Right. Anyway, the ghost tour, we've the South Coast tour and the city tour. I like keep the bars happy. Some thoughts on Stoker, well, anyway, Dracula, well, it does interest me sometimes where, you know, the imagination, where writers get ideas from, and, uh, from, uh, and, uh, well, you know a few things about Stoker, just a few problems. We know that Bram was a very sickly child. Poor Bram Stoker spent the first eight years. It may have affected his imagination. Also, when Bram was a child and confined to the bed, his mother, Charlotte Stoker, used to tell him ghost stories. And then she used to tell him stories about her own childhood when she was growing up in rural Ireland in County Sligo. And particularly her memories of a colour epidemic in County Sligo and the horrors of that time. She must have been a barrel of laughs, Charlotte Stoker. The poor child, huh? Ah, oh, bro, you're not getting any better, bro. 
Or, and by way of compensation, he later became a champion athlete at Trinity College, where he studied pure mathematics, Bram Stoker. But, um, but uh, anyway, uh, here's another thought. Um, there have been uh, people that have taken this tour with me from Romania who told me that uh, Dracula is based on uh, Vladi Impaler. So he wouldn't want to meet on a dark night. His nickname in Romania was Drago. Maybe it's that. We do know that some of the ideas are actually based on Irish superstitions. Um, but here's one for you. Bram Soker's father was a doctor. And when Bram was a child, he used to read his father's medieval textbooks. And apparently in one of these books, he came across a condition called porphyria. I think you know these vampires. And this, are, this is an actual medical condition. It's a rare hereditary blood disorder. I think it's curable now. I'm not sure. But people have por porphyria. The skin very, very pale. Because they're really anemic. And their skin is very sensitive to ultraviolet light. In fact, it broke down on contact with the sun's rays. So people who had this condition only went out at night. So that crops up in the boat. Yeah. Also, as the condition worsened, the gums receded. The incisor teeth became really prominent, and some people believe that one way of curing it is to drink. Mm. Oh, honey. Hey, just some thoughts on, on Stover. And by the way, porphyria, blood disorder. In Irish, drocola. Drocola in the Irish language. Bad blood. There you are. Ah, I got us down here, didn't it? We're all cheered up now. That's Amy Street Railway Station ahead of us bridge there ahead, just to the left of it, an Amiens Street railway station, the terminus for trains to Sligo, Belfast, Brasair, Dublin's uh, suburban uh, trains, and the terminus of the red line of the Lewis is down there. The Lewis, you've probably seen the trams around town, L-U-A-S, Lewis, an Irish language word in meaning speed, it's a new light rail in the city. And they've heard the Lewis as a nickname in Dublin now. People call it the, the Daniel Day. Lewis. Oh, fair enough. Oh, there. Who said the red thank you? There's no need to say that. Their behavior. Oh, oh, I don't know. They go around here. Now, on a more serious note, Indian Street Station was renamed Connolly Station in 1966 after James Connolly. James Connolly. Uh, was one of the leaders of the rebellion in Ireland in 1960, the Easter Rising. And after the rebellion, James Connolly was executed at Kilmaine of Jail in Dublin. Another leader of the 1916 rebellion was uh, Sean McDermott, or Sean McDermott, also executed in that year. This street was named after him, Sean McDermott Street. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're very shortly going to get to the end of this tour. We're nearly back at O'Connell Street. Please stay where you are for the moment until we get to O'Connell Street and pull in at the bus stop. But I would just ask you at this stage, please, would you now just check and make sure that you have your belongings with you before you leave the bus. Do check. Things can fall under the seat or behind the cushion there at the back of the seat. Yeah, big Christmas tree. You like one? All right. Don't see what is on here. The blicky. So. Yes. Correct. Oh, they just cooked it. Here, it's all cooked. It's impossible. Всю атмосферу засорили этим курением. Лучше бы в барах курили. Невозможно по улице пройти. Уф, уф. Вот только закурено. Камон.
Ну, как мне интересно, трейлер, да это спиской, или трамвай, да это трамвай, да это трамвай. Трамвай, да. А выглядит как поезд. Памятника. И он река. Это вот река, мы объяснили, делит дубли на две части. На южную, которую мы взяли, и на северную, на которую наш отель, где был наш автобус. Вот, тут еще даже до тренинга больше неизвестный. Все остальное. Нам уже скоро на самолет, нет времени особо. Пойдем на ту сторону ли? Мы идем по полу Просто не устроить. В центре города. В Москве. Вот это трамвай. Трамвай такие. Какой? Трамвай, вот, Лени, трам. Look, Lily, look at me, Lily. Вот 
на этой торговой улице днем, в которой мы были. Все продают здесь. Тут здесь бабки стояли, как редиски, не редиски, а кружками торговали. О, лавли, yes. Вот, о, oh, yeah, funny toys, lovely. Yeah, but we're not buying them now, because we're going to put them there. Oh, God. Things come through this way. So uncomfortable. I can't come through. With a buggy. On the second one, we have to go. So we won't be able to do anything, Lelio. Ладно, может, успеем еще еще сюда мы. О, кто это стоит такой? Что-то здесь. Сноу Квин, Лилина. У, это здесь. Ой, за. Ой, за. Лили, лег это. У. Лили, вон тут. Хуя. У, Лили, лег это мне, Лили. Who you are? What are you? Spaceman, huh? All right. It looks funny. Do you? Okay then. Oh, don't get sick now. Ух, занятая улица какая. Так, ну что, где у нас здесь еще пенсионер? О, не пройдешь ли? I don't think you'll see the snowman. We can be late to airport. О, люди. Скажи мне, что стали. Все надо вон. Hello. Who they are? Who they are? Oh, look at them. What is this? <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> Look. <laughs> lovely. What is this? <laughs> what you are? It's some sort of Star Wars or... <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> oh. Look at this, Lily. <laughs> Thank you. Say bye. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you like him, do you? Okay. Well, we see a lot of magic here. Oh, the problem is. What you are? I don't know. Where the shopping center. What is this? Oh, Lily, look, look. Look, someone's very still. Look at the funny animal. Look. Lily, Lily, look at here in front of you. It's a donkey or what? Lily, what is that? Phew. A lot of funny stuff we can see here, don't we, Lily? The schedule. What is this, Lily? Oh, oh Lily. What? Oh, you're scared, darling. Okay. Oh, darling. Okay, we're golden. If you're scared, never mind. Oh, where are we going now? What street? I mean, this must be shopping center here. Yeah. I think we're on the wrong street. Not sure where we are. Come on, Lily, say it. Oh, Lily, Lily. Lily, look at me. Don't be worried, come on, let's go close to them, don't worry. They will not hurt you. Look. Now look at me, Lily. Oh. I think I can make a picture. Look, this little girl, she's not scared of no man. Shall we go to see Father Christmas? Come on, we'll try. Yeah, we already been in this grove. Don't let Father Christmas is climbing, look. He's climbing up and down. Climbing Santa, 
Can I see him climbing up and down? Look. Climbing up and down. Love. Go, 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 go. Don't be scared. Go. Look, Father Christmas is here. Look. Oh, Lily. Where are we going? Lily. Oh, here, Lily. Father Christmas. Come, eh? Lily, darling. <laughs> Lily. That's it, fun. <laughs> Lily, look at you. I'm doing you as well. Lovely Lily. <laughs> What, what, what can you see so far the Christmas, eh? What can you see? Oh. <laughs> you doing presents? Did you get the program? Huh? Eh? Did you get the program? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay? I'm all looking at your reactions, you know. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Mm. Tell me, Ted, what time did you bring you down at Christmas time? What would you like Santa to bring you? Ruth? Yeah, I have a present for you. Well, you want me to bring you some special present at Christmas? Do you? Lily, what should you say? That's a present, Lily. Yeah, that's good. You. Yeah. Yeah. He will come again Christmas time. Say yes. Nice to see you, Father Christmas. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Then we'll see what the present is. Yeah, you can open, obviously. <laughs> Come on, we'll open there. Come on. <laughs> no, no, no. I want... Yeah, we'll open outside. Come on, sir. Say bye-bye. 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 Look at this. Oh, Lily. <laughs> you get lost, Lily. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Look. Woo! Father Christmas taking you there. Look, another Father Christmas coming down the chimney. Look. Can I see him? Up and down. What a magic world. Lily, Lily. Lily. Lily, come on. Come on, we'll see picture now. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Nice, Lily. Taxi, time to go now. Is it fun, my lily? Oh, lovely. Come on, let's go to see what is on this here. Look, let me try. 
Программу выполнили. Все посмотрели, что смогли. Сегодня даже умудрились в последний день на экскурсию съездить к замку и на э, северное побережье Вудбридж этого Дублина. Вот. Лили тоже, я думаю, не скучала. Мы с ней в папе встретим, ходили, да, Лили? И в зоопарк. И даже сходили, посмотрели фазы Кресни. Я. Нота не мог. О, люк, да, фани, фани. Маск флок. О, да, пипл, пудин, фани, маск сон, э? Ммм, центр зрения здесь клиник. Лукин, фани, где? Вот это вот Элен. Витькеви чоклет. Сей баба, не ради кот ю чоклет. Фазаки. Зубина за Элен. Бумажки летят. Ай, не, кто ты? Растин маска, как вот эти уроды называют. Uh, what is it? Two euro for a bit. Oh no. Euro не осталось. Ну так еще осталось. Мне еще до аэропорта ехать. Заехать в отель за сумками. Another alien. Say bye bye, Lily. They say pink alien. Bye bye. We already go. Okay, get some sweets. <laughs> Come on. We already have one. Okay, get some this sweets. They say thank you, alien or whatever. <laughs> oh, you want money? Oh, go. You have your present from Santa? Вот это вот Нельсон, оказывается, Тау была. Башня Нельсон посвященная. Ладно, все, пора нам лили, пора. Значит, мы опоздаем на самолет. Может, вот тут самый этот. Если какой трафик, мы вообще точно опоздаем. И вот эта пленка кончается, наверное, еще. Осталось 5 минут. Lovely look. How beautiful. Мы из нашего отеля уже уезжали. Последний раз. Девушка, которая... Yes, you want... Look at me, Lily. Lily, Lily, look at me. Ай, какая красивая девушка, Lily. Чисто тобус, как когда-то такой у нас. 
Тролли Ариш Традишн. Центр Чуть-чуть. О, как мне надоели эти люди. Чуть-чуть зубы. Здесь крещок. В аэропорту уже. Ну-ка, здесь сидит чуть-чуть рост поги. В высоких креслах. Эль, Лили. Вот эта вот движущая лестница намного лучше эскалатора. Это мы в аэропорту. Там небольшой аэропорт. Я думаю, он маленький, как ночи. Нет. Большой. Лили, ну-ка, мели. Ну, понятно. Мы там мы на дорожке идем. Наш самолет. Он даже небольшой. Что-то садятся. Mm -hmm. Слабей. Ой-ой-ой, what you doing, Лили? What you doing, медведица? Я был бредный с Крисмас вчера. Это мы в аэропорту. Лили. Наш самолет. Э. Yeah. Наш самолет, look. This is our, our plane. Yeah. It's so tiny plane. Yeah. Compare with the other way. Where? Yeah. Well, this is plain. Can you see? Can you imagine we sit inside it and go in there? Can you imagine this? Uh -huh. We go to the Christmas tree. But don't touch it. Look at your age. Lovely Lily. <laughs> Hooligan Lily. What does man do in there? Careful. Мы живем с нашим самолетом. Эль. Он же проход, да? Ну, хоть по улице не идти. Угу. Слайминг. Can you see the bin? Bin? Put some the bin, please. Oh, there is the bin. Пошла кухня. Девочка моя, будь моя умница. Выкинула в урну умница. Good job. You done it. Come on, I give you a kiss. Mm, good baby girl. Huh? When are we going? Where? No, then put a Where stano. We need to put a stano straight to the plane, see? What? It's a plane. 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 It's a What are you doing? What are you doing? You just leave the crest to tear. You just lost your sword, Dad. Hmm. Look at the plane. Look at the plane. Oh, bear. Stop. Bear. Bear. Not dog.